Hello, um, right, uh, following off my original video, um, which showed a basic hash up using a relay and a relay that we latched um, into um, into a position that could only be unlatched when it was uh, when the power was cut to it. I bought some parts from Maplin and um, I've um, put this together. Um, it's a little bit neater than it was before, as you can see. It's pretty much the same setup. So. On this one, we actually have two relays. This one here, this is the power and the uh, the latching relay, okay, um, that goes to the actual devices. So we're here, we've got a call point um, on the system. Um, we've got a second relay. Now this is the sounder relay, okay. This actually contra controls the sound circuit. So, and then we've also got the call point and the sounder there, which is a Roshni. Um, so, um, We've also also got a couple of switches here. We've got a reset switch, and we have a silence alarm switch. Now, let's give a quick demo. I'm going to activate the call point by using the test key. That's gonna put it into a fire situation, and we'll see what happens. As you can hear, the sound of sounds, and this red fire LED comes on to say that the, there's a fire, basically. Um, so what we wanna do now is silence the alarms. So we push this. That's now silenced the alarms, and it's also illuminated this. Uh, it's actually a yellow LED, but it should be amber. Um, so yeah, it's activated the LED there to say that the system is um, silenced. Now, let's reset the call point by removing the key. The call point is now reset. It's not going to reset the system though. You may have reset the call point, but you haven't reset the system because it still thinks there's a fire. So it's still going to indicate fire with the LEDs on that. So the only way we need we can reset the system now is if we hit the reset button here. Now what this does, it cuts the power to do all the circuit uh, momentarily until you let the switch go. So we push the button, let it go, and we're just back to a steady green power LED. So that's pretty much how it um, it all works. It's very basic. Um, the wiring diagram is very simple. I will post that up. Um, so yeah, that's, um, that's a basic circuit of a fire alarm. So thanks for watching.